Our second speaker will be Zuzua Ayu, speaking on the geometric Satake equivalence. Okay, thank you for the introduction. It is my great pleasure to be here to discuss this geometric Satake equivalence with you. Okay, so before talking about the geometric Satake equivalence, which is an equivalence between two monoidal categories, let's maybe look at the background on the classical Satake isomorphism. So um, we make a few assumptions. Let's say um, F is a non archimedean local field. And as usual, we write O for its linear integers and K for its residue field. So um, we can think of F as either a finite extension of QP or um, the field of Lorentz power series in coefficient FQ. So in the former case, um, we say F is of mixed characteristic. Well, in the latter case, we say F is of equal characteristic. So the names are justified by looking at the characteristic of this field and the characteristic of the residue fields. So we assume G to be a split connected reductive group scheme over the meaning of integers, and we fix a choice of the real subgroup and a maximal torus inside, inside G. And we write X lower bullet and X upper bullet for the group of co characters and the characters of G. Um, so as usual, um, we use W to denote the value group of T and X lower bullet upper class to denote the semi group of the dominant co characters. Okay. So we can indulge a topology on G alpha F to make it into a locally uh, compact topological group. Then under this topology, um, the subgroup of G of O, which we denote by K, becomes a maximal compact subgroup of G alpha F. And we can choose the unique hard measure, which makes the volume of K to be one. Then under these preparations, we can define the spherical Hecke algebra of G to be the set of Z value of compactly supported functions on the double quotient space G quotient K from two side. So here are two um, very um, direct consequences of uh, or properties of this spherical Hecke algebra. So the convolution the functions involve the spherical hack algebra into uh, an algebra structure. And if you play the Galvan trick, we can in fact show it's a commutative algebra. And we know the spherical hack algebra HG admits a set of Z bases, um, which are characteristic functions labeled by the dominant co characters of G. So um, we assume E to be an algebraically closed field. Then the Lanus Du group, which we know by G hat over E of G, is the unique reductive group um, whose root datum equals the dual root datum of G. So, for example, if G equals to GLN, then its dual group is again GLN. If G equals to SLN, then its dual is just PGLN. If G equals to a special unitary group SO2 plus 1, then we get its dual to be this, uh, the symplectic group SP2N. And if G is um, SO2N or E8, then its dual is just itself. Okay. So we will write R of G hat to be the gross catering of the category of finite dimensional representations of the Lanz dual group G hat. Then the classical Satake isomorphism um, states that there is an isomorphism between the Seifert Bahaki algebra and the gross catering of G hat. So what is really geometric Satake? In short words, it is sort of a categorification of the classical Satake isomorphism. So we have seen the word categorification a few times in the previous um, talks. So more precisely, I really mean we hope to find two categories A and B and an equivalence between these two, uh, between these two categories such that if you take the gross K ring, we recover the classical Satake isomorphism. So here are two very natural questions. First of all, what is this category A? And secondly, what is the category B? Actually, it is very clear from the definition of RG hat what this category B should be. It's just the category of a finite dimensional representations of the Lanz dual group. So we have solved half of the problem. But really, the other half of the problem, that is, what is this category A, is, is kind of difficult. Um, so the rough idea of constructing this category A is as follows. So first of all, we consider this single set quotient GF quotient GFO. We want to install an algebraic geometric structure on it. 
And the resulting geometry space, which we get over G, is that diverse menu. And motivated by the double cosine uh, structure in the definition of the spherical hack algebra, we hope to consider the geo equivariant curvature sheaves on this G in the light of the gross and shift function dictionary. So this category is denoted by G, uh, is denoted by P um, G over G and is sometimes called the Stucky category. So let me say a few words on um, the Lacanverse menu and the study category. So there are a few perspectives towards um, the Lacanverse menu. So first of all, we can sort of think of it as a homogeneous space of LJ equals L plus G. So here LJ is a formal loop group, while L plus G is a formal uh, just space of G. And uh, alternatively, we can think of G as the geometric object which represents the modular problem which classifies the set of isomorphism classes of pairs, E and beta. So here E is a G-tosser, or you can think of it as principal G-bungle on a formal unit disk. And the beta is an isomorphism between E and the trivial G-tosser e trig on a punctured formal unit disk. So in the equal characteristic case, we can sort of think of a formal unit disk to be its backup, for example, C double bracket T, and in a mixed characteristic case, this construction is via the ring of uh, uh, weight factors. So I won't go to uh, the details of the, of the definitions. But if you find this previous two definitions are, um, are not really concrete, so here we actually have a very concrete definition in the case G equals to GLN. So in this special case, Duffenberg's manual for G is in fact the set of lattices is that F of N. So by saying a lattice, I really mean it is a finally generated um, projective O sub module lambda in F of N, such that a lambda tensor with F over O is as morphic to F of N. Okay. So um, from the definition of, uh, of the Alphabet Manning, it's not hard to see that this space is really huge. It's in fact infinitely dimensional. But the nice thing is it, it emits uh, a nice uh, stratification, so whose strata is sometimes called the uh, Schubert cell, or mu, and this stratification is labeled by the dominant co characters of G. So um, I just said this stratification is nice. Um, more precisely, we have the following lemma. For example, if you have two dominant co characters, mu and mu, then we know that there is a closure of the Schubert cell or mu, which we denote by the lesser equal to mu, and we call it the Schubert variety. This is, in fact, a projective variety defined over K. So in the mixed characteristic case, this is really the, uh, the perfection of the projective variety. And also, we know from the definition um, using this homogeneous space, and we know this uh, L plus G loop group, uh, this L plus G jet space, acts on the Alphabet's menu. And in fact, this L plus G acts on the Schubert variety. And this action factors through a finite type quotient. And we have an inclusion relation between two Schubert cells if their corresponding characters, uh, dominant co characters, has this um, uh, relation. And finally, we know that Schubert variety, in fact, equals to the union of other super cells whose corresponding dominant co characters are less than or equal to some. Okay. So, with these nice properties of Alphabet's menus and the super varieties, we can define this tacky category. So, by the second point of the lemma, you know, it makes sense to define the GO equivariant purpose sheet on the small piece, the super variety per lesser than or equal to mu. And then this tacky category is just become to be the limit of these smaller categories. And by its definition, so this is a category of a certain perverse sheaf, it is an Armenian category. But if we recall the algebra structure of the Hecke algebra, of the superior Hecke algebra, we should expect more. And in fact, by Lushchik's convolution construction, we can indulge in the Hecke category with a monoidal category structure. So we have, on one hand, the Sataki category, and on the other hand, the category of uh, finite dimensional representation of G hat. So we expect that there is an equivalence between them. And in fact, in the equal characteristic case, this equivalence was proved by the works of Louis G. Ginsburg, Venus, and Schoenfeld, and Mark Rich Bologna. So the precise statement is the hyper functor 
from the static category to the category of randomly generated uh, K-modules leads to uh, an equivalence of symmetric monoidal categories between the subtactic category and the category of finite dimensional representations of G hat over K. So here K is the, uh, is the coefficient of ring of the sheet theory we consider. It can be either Z, um, C, or FL bar. So where L is a prime that is different from the residue um, characteristic. So how about um, the story in mixed characteristic? So the first result was proved by true. So he showed that there is an equivalence between the QO bar coefficient in the category and the category of QO bar representations of the Lamas and true group. So as we have seen in the previous slides, uh, the results suggest that we should actually expect this equivalence hold for more general coefficients, for example, for integral coefficient. And in the mixture characteristic, so the coefficient for ZL and the FL subtactic so category was first announced by Peter Furtick um, using his very beautiful theory of diamonds. And it is also proved by me using a different approach. So um, here, uh, this L is again uh, a prime that is different from the rest of the characteristic. So what does the geometric stack equivalence tell us? So it is sort of, it sort of um, can be seen as a dictionary between the topological information and the representation theoretic information. So here is some examples. So the IC sheaves, uh, which are the intersection cohomology sheaves supported on the super cell in the Sahaki category, corresponds to the uh, irreducible representations of the highest weight mu in the representation category. And moreover, the standard sheaves, which is the perverse uh, star push forward of this constant sheaf uh, supported on um, this super cell, which is up to a shift of dimension, corresponds to the short module in the representation category. And uh, similarly, uh, another standard sheaf corresponds to the vial module in the uh, representation category. And in fact, the new lamp, the, the, the new wave space of the Schur module and the vial module are canonically identified with each other. And they admit a natural basis um, which comes from geometry. That is the intersection of the super variety, the lexemer to mu with the so-called semi-infinite orbit as of mu. And this, this set of bases is sometimes called MB basis. And I think this MB basis was also mentioned in the previous talks. Okay, so uh, at the end of the talk, I hope to discuss an arithmetic application of the integral coefficient version of the geometric stack equivalence in the mixture characteristic. So uh, we assume G1x1 and G2x2 to be two Hausch type Shimura data. And we assume mu i to be the uh, conjugacy class of the hot characters. And EI is the so called the reflex field of the Shimura data GIXI. And we choose um, Ki to be a sufficiently small open contact subgroup of GIALF. So we make some mild technical assumptions. I'm not going to describe what this assumption is, but one consequence of this technical assumption is we are allowed to identify the Lanza Jew group of G1 and G2, and we write this Lanza Jew group as G hat. So we write sigma for the irrespective for Venus morphism of FP. And by the work of Vasilian Kissin, we know a hash type of super variety admits a canonical smooth integral model. And we will use SH mu i to denote the multi fiber of this integral model for exchange to K mu bar. So here mu is a prime that lies above P in the composite sum of the, of the reflex fields E1 and E2. I will write H upper P for the prime to be high algebra. And I use code G hat, G hat sigma to, be, uh, to denote the coherent sheaves category on this stack of arriving by non-lens parameters. So um, finally, I will assume um, VI to be the irreducible um, representations of the lens due group of high split mu I. Then using the integral coefficient geometric stack equivalence, I derive the following Jack and Lana's transfer for automorphic forms of higher bits. So there is a map as we see from the home space in the uh, category of coherent shapes, um, the 
on the Andromeda Philonis parameters to the home space of HRP tensor J uh, uh, home space. So, uh, so here is this J is the global section of the structure sheet on this stack of Andromeda Philonis parameters. And this map is compatible with the conversation on the source and target. And in general, as in particular, if both Shimura varieties equal to the same Shimura set, we can expect uh, the action of the endomorphism ring of this um, coherent shape VU2 on the compact vertical homology of the Shimura set um, coincides with the usual high algebra action under the classical set of endomorphism. Uh, right, so uh, this is the end of my talk, and I uh, thank you for your attention. Questions for the speaker? This uh, parasitic application it is an application of the statement with these flow coefficients. Right. But the arithmetic application is, it doesn't have any flow coefficients. Right, it's in fact the QL coefficient, but I actually use the integral coefficient because when I treat the complex of vertical homology, the cohomology has coefficient I didn't explain this. Uh, this ally comes from the very uh, varying the level. So that's where the integral coefficient so that it comes into play. Yeah, thank you for the question. Any other questions? Let's thank the speaker again. Thank you.